All right, guys. So about a week ago, I tested like five of the most popular Google indexing software out there. Um, I reported the 24 hour numbers, but uh, I wanted to wait a week before getting the final numbers. And yeah, it turns out the cheapest one on the list is the best one. But um, keep watching and you'll see me report all the numbers. Please comment Google indexer for the YouTube algorithm. That would help the YouTube channel immensely. And plus it would make my $300 not go to waste. Anyways, for the next like one or two minutes, I'm going to report my previous day's numbers plus eat some creatine. So if you guys don't want to do it or don't want to watch it, skip using the chapters on YouTube down below. Gloomy day, but it's Friday. So we take those. Happy Friday, everyone. Here we go. All right, let's go. So yesterday we only did 3.7K in total revenue, down $500 from the day before. Amazon at $1,600, Mediavine at $941, and OnlyFans at $1,200. Decent day. Um, let's look at the granular numbers. So big drop on order revenue yesterday. It is what it is. We'll take those, you know? Levanta only at $55. Not great, but it's all right. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, let's talk about today's episode, guys. So um, if you want, sign up for the first link in the description to get the show notes. Also, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pin the best indexer I found on in the YouTube comments. So go there to sign up for the uh, indexer if you want. And uh, the full test document is here and the final, final numbers are here. Um, Couple of people asked me, "Hey, Jackie, don't you have Revive? Isn't Revive.so um, a great indexing software? Uh, like, why don't you push Revive?" So, with Revive, how it works is you need to have ownership of the site. Um, whereas with these indexers, you don't need ownership. So, indexers are used for you know citations, PBNs, uh, niche edits, guest posts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whereas like if you own the site, you won't need this because you can just simply submit it via revive.so or via uh, Google Search Console. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's talk about the test. Um, I've been reporting, I've, I've been like recording the daily results for the last week or so, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, it's been good. It's been good. So very surprising because I used to use speed links and index me now. Thinking Index Me Now is the best one because, you know, it's so expensive. It's got to be good, right? It's a dollar per link submission. Like, this has to be the Ferrari of indexers. But no, like, the numbers show that it's actually quite terrible. Um, probably one of the, it, it is the worst value. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the granular numbers. So after six days, uh, speed links is at 14%. Um, Speed, speedy index bot, which I've included a link in uh, the show notes, plus in the description, 78% of links are indexed after six or a week. 40% um, from Index Me Now, Giga Indexer, 68%, and 13% from Omega Indexer. Couple things to note. Uh, one of the owners of Giga Indexer reached out to me and noted that uh, their process is manual right now, hence why something about like after between 48 and 72 hours, that's why they had a huge jump in indexation. And um, I think it's worth noting that maybe it was submitted so quickly because they saw my video. Um, but yeah, either way, we're, we're talking about how well it works. So it works relatively well, but I, I, I did want to know price per index link because I'm personally a cheap ass. So at half a cent per link indexed, this Telegram bot is by far the best one. It's it, honestly, it doesn't even come close compared to index me now. It's quite literally 
84 times more expensive per link. It's insane. Um, even the next cheapest one, which is Omega Indexer, comes in at eight cents. It it doesn't even. It's insane. It's actually insane. So what is that? Like sixteen times cheaper. There is no other indexer anyone should be recommending at this moment. The tests speak for itself. Value wise, the Telegram bot is where it's at. All right. I'm not like some of the owners of these indexers I know, and I'm not going to play any favorites. I'm just going to report the numbers. And hey, I, I think this is the benefit of watching my channel because, you know, integrity can't be bought here. All right. So. If you guys appreciate some me doing these experiments, please comment Google indexer for the YouTube algorithm. I have a couple more experiments in the works right now. I'm going to be secret shopping. I'm not going to talk about what I'm testing. And, uh, when I report the results, the owners will probably reach out saying, Hey, um, I should have gave you special treatment, but tough toenails. All right. Tough toenails. It is what it is. And uh, let's answer some questions from the previous episode. Cool. So Chris said, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. If you charge 20 to $30 max, a link will add same price like chat GBT. Man, 20, $30. That's honestly probably higher, uh, lower than our cost. Um, I think it is. Appreciate the local SEO comment though. Um, helps a lot. Thank you very much. Thanks, Elliot. I actually met Elliot, I believe, in Saigon. Jeff, how's it going? Local SEO, thank you. Hey, Jackie, do you intend to open the advice community on a monthly plan again in the future? Thanks. Love your videos, bro. No, I'm not. Um, I chatted with Sean about this. It's uh, annual plan is the way to go. Um, it also, I noticed people on the annual plan are more engaged because they're, they're not going to turn. They know they're in it, for, in it to win it, you know? Um, and I have noticed people on the annual plan take more action than people on the monthly plan. So you guys should be on the uh, annual plan anyways, because in their mind, so I had this hypothesis about like course buyers and course sellers. So you know how uh, course people who buy courses, all the information is online already. It's free. You can find it if you want, but they don't. They'd rather buy courses and go through it because you know they invested money into it. So it forces them to take action. I think it's like a similar situation with the advice community. They're like, all right, it's time to take some action. I'm going to sign up for the advice community. Uh, I'm going to buy the year membership and it's going to force me to like mingle and take action. And dude, it, it totally freaking works. I used to be like a bit sus about that. I was like, man, fuck courses, fuck these communities, all that shit. Um, but yeah, check out the hash. If you guys are in the uh, advice community already, join the hashtag wins channel you'll see people taking action every day. It's, it's crazy. Plus the goals channel is kind of fire too. We talk about our goals on a weekly basis and then we kind of just read each other and keep each other accountable. And it kind of like shames us into working, you know, it's kind of nice. Hey Jackie, about the Fiverr citations guy, is it okay if I buy 150 local citations and link it to my rank and rent directly or should I buy 50 citations each week until it adds up to 150? Is there no effect if I just buy 150 cit citations outright local SEO? Well, if it's cheaper to buy 150 outright, then do that. And then what I do is, because as you noticed um, in my index uh, experiment, most of them aren't indexed. So wh why don't you do this? If it's cheaper to buy 150 versus 50 and then like, but you're worried about um, not drip feeding, why don't you do this? You buy 150 and then you submit 50 into the indexer every like week. It, it would be the exact same thing. All right. Copy Samurai, what's going on? Uh, don't give in to Jimmy's who can't handle the Korean team, man. If you start doing chapters, I won't be able to, I won't be able to chapter straight into the Korean team debate them. I love that. <laughs> uh, Kevin's PBN doesn't provide a link, list of links. So how do you get them indexed? So um, you can do it manually. Like you check each uh, of your tier ones, find the Kevin's PBN and submit them for an indexation or just let them index naturally. There's too many links. Kevin's PBN is too cheap to even like, you know, worry about that. It's not even a tier one. You know what I mean? If it's a tier one link, then it getting indexed is important. But if it's like a tier two, it's like, eh, it's, you know, it's whatever. 
No glass here for the algo. Thank you very much. Marcus, what's going on? Marcus is probably the the most active member in the advice right now. It's just crazy out here. Local SEO, quick question about partnerships, if I may. Of course, you may. Did I understand correctly? You buy find big sites, use them to rank up your site for affiliate slash affiliate slash niche, or is it you create articles directly on their site? <clears throat> um, we have access to their site and then we create it. Local SEO for the algo. Thank you very much. Dry scooping creatine is now part of my daily stack now. <laughs> Makes me feel insane, which is what this business is now. Um, amen to that, brother. Frank, what's going on? Local SEO. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the local SEO comment. And that's it for today. Guys, I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow. I'll schedule it. Um, be sure to join. And that's it. All right. Um, was fun. See you tomorrow. And comment Google indexers for the YouTube algorithm. I'm sorry. Sign up for the first link in the description. Plus, if you want to give me affiliate for the work I've done, sign up for the best indexer in the comment section. I'll pin it. And that's it. Take it easy.